except in sportsmanship. Throughout this contest, every frame from negative cheers, chants, or behavior. Please be respectful to all players, coaches, and referees throughout this game. Good luck and good luck to both teams. Please rise and remove your caps. Tonight's national anthem, presented by current horn code, Julissa Scandalon. Live from Kalinga, Kalinga High School, Horn Toad Boys Basketball is on the air as your Horn Toads take on the Fireball High School Eagles to start off West Sierra League play on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Hi everybody, I'm Brian Welch for the Toad Streaming Network. Glad to have you along on a cold Tuesday evening here in the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Great matchup between the Horn Toads and the Fireball High School Eagles. Get you the starting lineups for both the Fireball High School Eagles and your Horn Toads of Klinga High School. First for the Fireball High School League Eagles, led by head coach Marco Hercules. They'll be led by number one, Anthony Fernandez, the junior 5'7", 154-pound point guard. Number four, Joey Laura, the junior 5'10", 160-pound point guard and guard. Number 10, Jonathan Salazar, the senior, 5'11", 170-pound point guard, and guard will be in the lineup as well. Number 15, Inez Felix, the junior, 5'10", 175-pound power forward, and rounding out the starting five for the Fireball High School Eagles, number 22, Edwin Lopez, the junior, 6'1", 190-pound power forward and center. Here's your starting lineup for your Horn Toads of Kalinga High School, led by head coach Jason McFarland. They'll be led by number one, Dylan Teixeira, the sophomore, 6'1", 170-pound wing player. They'll be led by number four, Damian Tamayo, the freshman 5'7 point guard. Number 10, Jaden Pena, the sophomore, 5'11", 145-pound point guard. And number 12, Gavin Watson, the sophomore, 5'11", 145-pound wing player. And rounding out the starting lineup for your Horn Toads of Kalinga High School, the number 22, Ryan Howard, the senior, 6'1", 145-pound guard. And that will round out the starting lineups for the Horn Toads and the Fireball High School Eagles. Pull up a chair, folks, as we're numbering as the Fireball High School Eagles will be in their blue uniforms, white number, the red trim. We're ready to go, we're ready to do battle here in the West Sierra League, in fact. As we are waiting, as the starting lineups are being announced, this is gonna be a big matchup as actually the Horn Toads got the victory last season over the Fireball High School Eagles, 81 to 62, in fact, last season, but it's a new season and new league play as both teams trying to get going here this season as the Fireball High School Eagles have a record of eight and five, as your Horn Toads have a record of seven and eight. So it's gonna be an interesting matchup here tonight between the Fireball High School Eagles and your Horn Toads of Kalinga High School. As we get ready to go here, 
Horn Toads, they go in right to left on our, from our position in the corner of the Horn Toad Field House on the corner of Sunset Avenue, where it was ready to go here. Here we go. It's time for Horn Toad basketball on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Pull up a chair, folks. Glad to have you along. Let's have some fun here in the West Sierra League and Coling Station A. And the tip-off is won by the Toads and a quick start by Howard. That's going to go in for two. Ryan Howard for two, two nil, and the Horn Toads draw first blood here in Kalinga. Fireball High School Eagles taking the ball across the timeline. That's going to be number one, Fernandez. Dumps it off top of the key to his teammate, number 10, Salazar. He pulls for a three, no good. Rebounded by the Horn Toads. Jaden Pena coming up with the rebound. Throws it over to cross away in front of our broadcast position. The Tamayo Butter hits the back guard, hits that front iron, rebounded. Butter back across the way. Howard for free. It goes in for free. Five to zero. Horn Toads lead over the Fireball High School Eagles. Actually, that's going to be a long two. They're going to say four to zero. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Dragging it into the paint for the Fireball High School Eagles. No good. Rebounded by the Horn Toads. And the Horn Toads are going to go back to work here. Jaden Pena to the right side. Chest pass over to cross the way to his teammate, number 11. Dumps it off over across the way. Trying to drive, that's Gavin Watson wearing number 12, I should say. And Butter stepped out of bounds. That will be Fireball High School ball. With 59 seconds gone by in the opening quarter, four to zero, Horn Toads lead over to the Eagles. Inbound for the Eagles. That's gonna be number four, Laura. Laura across the timeline, a little bit of pressure. Drives it into the paint and gets it in there for two. Joey Laura, the junior, 5'10", 160 pound point guard with the first basket for the Eagles, four to two. Horn Toads lead over the Eagles. Top of the key. Pena to the right side. Throws it across the way to Tessera. Tessera dumps it off over to cross the way to Watson to that right side. Chest pass over to Pena, right wing free. Hits the back iron. No good, rebounded by Butters. Tamayo with the, hits the back iron, rebounded by the Eagles, and the Eagles will go back to work here. As Fernandez takes the ball across the timeline, bounce pass over to cross the way, over to, so was actually Laura. A little bit of fighting for the ball. Top of the key for Fernandez. 18 on the shot clock here, 6.15 to go in the first quarter. Fernandez throws over to cross the way to his teammate. That's going to be number 15, Inez Felix. Hits the back iron, rebounded by number 22, Lopez. And that will go in. We're tied up at 4, 6.02 to go in the opening quarter. As Toads take the ball right to left on your screen. Pena, top of the key. Chest pass over to Howard. Howard's going to try to drive in. Bounce pass over to cross the way, over to... Gavin Watson, but it will go out of bounds. Fireball high school ball with 5.49 to go in the opening quarter. Inbound for Howard and the Toads right in front of your screen. Mishandles it, and Pena's able to regain it. Tied up at four. 5.44 to go in the opening quarter. Pena to the right side, dumps it off over to Howard. A straightaway free, it goes in, swish, swash. And the Horn Toads have a three point advantage, seven to four over the Fireball High School Eagles. Vasquez takes, actually that's gonna be number 10 on our roster, Salazar. Dumps it off across the way for a three, goes in, does not go in. And rebounded by the Horn Toads. The Horn Toads trying to extend their lead here in the opening quarter. Pena to the right side. Bounce pass over to Howard. Chest pass over to Pena once again. Throws it across the way, over to Tamayo for a left wing three, no good. Watson with the put back, no good. Tessera, no good once again, and rebounded by the Eagles. That's going to be Lopez, and the Horn Toads have to go back on defense. Tied up as, as they lead by three, seven to four. Salazar, top of the key, dumps it off over to Felix. Felix straight away free, hits the back iron, and that'll be rebounded by the Horn Toads, and great rebounding by the Horn Toads so far in this opening quarter as they lead seven to four. Jaden Pena to the left side in front of your screen. Pena pulls for the trigger for a free. It goes in, banks off the glass. Timeout called by Jason McFarland. A 30-second timeout. 10 to 4. Horn Toads lead over the Fireball High School Eagles. A 4.27 to go here in the opening quarter. That's a statement for the Toads right there. As the Horn Toads lead by six. Glad to have you along. Jackson Elliott, our camera guy tonight. Jackson Elliott, an ROP multimedia student here at Kalinga High School. I'm Brian Welch. Glad to have you along on a Tuesday evening in the 
on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. As your Horn Toads lead 10 to four with the Fireball High School Eagles open up West Sierra League play. As the Horn Toads find some offensive firepower so far in the opening quarter. But the Eagles are not afraid to go beyond the arc. This will be an inbound for the Eagles as they're gonna try to reset the shot clock. This will be an inbound for Fireball. That's gonna be Fernandez in front of your camera, in front of your screen, I should say. Fernandez takes the ball across the timeline here, going left to right on your screen. Dumps it off over to Laura. Laura trying to drive down the lane. Still fighting for it, Reed stolen away by the Toads, and the Toads going back to work on offense. Jaden Pena, top of the key. Throws it over to cross the way to Butters, almost right into our broadcast position. Throws it over, bullets a pass over to cross the way to Pena. Pena back over to Tamayo, left wing free. It goes in! Swish, swash! Damian Tamayo, the freshman phenom, with a triple, 13 to four. Horn Toads lead. Taking across the way, Salazar in the paint, no good, and a whistle and a foul. Let's see who it's gonna be on. It will be on Gavin Watson. His first foul of the game. It's actually one of the it's one of the first fouls, actually, for both teams. In fact, as Salazar, the senior, will go to the free throw line. Did not see who was shooting two. Goes in and out for the first one, so he will be shooting two. Under four minutes to go in the opening quarter. 13 to four, Horn Toads lead over Fireball in, in the West Sierra League opener. Second free throw, in and out, rebounded by the Horn Toads, and the Horn Toads will go back to work here. Pena takes the ball across the timeline. Goes to the right side, bounce pass over to cross the way to 15 on our roster, Antonio back over to Pena. Pena gonna try to drive into that right side. A little bit of triple team, Pena gonna try to pull for a 13 footer, no good, it's deflected away by the, by the Eagles, and Salazar gonna try to drive it down, and it goes in for two, 13 to six. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Pena takes the ball across the timeline here. Throws over to cross the way over to Antonio. Back over to Antonio. Trying to find somebody. Back over to Pena to the right side. Back over to Pena. Reflected away. And the Horn Toads are able to, save, able to save the disaster. Pena top of the key. A screen by Deshera. Bounce pass over to Watson. Right wing free. It goes in. Swish, slash. Kevin Watson for a free. And it's raining. Freeze and triples in Kalinga. Under three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Laura with a, receives that great a wild pass. Throws over across the way. Salazar gonna try to drive in. Guarded by Watson. Actually double teamed by Shashera. Deflected away, trying to find somebody. 10, 11 on the shot clock. Salazar in the paint and a whistle. And let's see what the call will be on as this will be on Jaden Pena, his first personal of the game, as this will be an inbound for the Fireball High School Eagles, as the Eagles check in for some players, check in, some substitutions I should say, 2.31 to go in the opening quarter. Inbound for Fernandez. Fernandez trying to find somebody, gets over to Salazar of a diving effort. Salazar dumps it away, and a great deflection by the Horn Toad defense. Great deflection there. And it will still be fireball ball, 2.25 to go in the opening quarter, 16 to six. Horn Toads lead over the Eagles, they lead by a decade. Dumps it off to Salazar for the inbound. He pulls for a trigger. For the triple, I should say, no good. Rebounded by the Horn Toads, and the Horn Toads go back to work here. 2.18 and counting to go. Pena speeding down the floor, gets it over to Tamayo. Tamayo to that left side. Bounce, actually chest pass over and across the way to Pena. And a foul, let's see what the call will be on. It will be on Anthony Fernandez, the junior 5'7", 154 pound point guard, his first personal of the game. Inbound for Jaden Pena right in front of your screen in this opening quarter. Throws it over to Tamayo, right wing free. It's gonna go in and out, rebounded by the Eagles. Out. If that free went, this place would go ballistic in this opening quarter. And a traveling call on the Eagles with 2.06 to go in the opening quarter as the Horn Toads lead by a decade in this opening quarter in Kalinga. As we have some substitutions coming in for the Horn Toads. Inbound for Pena. 
Pena to the right side. Slowing the pace here. Chest pass over to Teixeira. Back over to Pena to the right side. Pena. Throws it over to Teixeira. Teixeira, top of the key. Bounce pass over to Pena. He pulls the trigger for a right wing free. Hits the back iron. Rebounded by the Eagles, and the Eagles will go back to work as one of the new substitutions. Mendoza, Norby, Norby Mendoza with the in, with that rebound for the Eagles. Norby Mendoza gets it over to cross the way to Mendez, and that trying to find somebody. Back over to Felix. Vasquez, top of the key. Dumps it off over to cross the way. We can't see who that is. And that ball's intercepted by the Horn Toads. And Luis Antonio, Luis Antonio with the interception for the Toads. Pena gonna try to knife his way down the, into the paint. And a traveling call on Pena. His first traveling of the game. 1-12 to go in the opening quarter. Here in Kalinga, they open up West Sierra League play. Eagles have the ball, that's Laura. Laura down the lane. No good, rebounded by the Horn Toads, and the Horn Toads will go back to work here. Howard takes the ball across the timeline. To so that left side, it's over to Shara. Back over to Sanchez, to so that right side. Tamayo for a right wing free, hits the back iron. Rebounded by the Toads, great save, and it's gonna go in the hands of a fireball high school Eagle. Vasquez is able to steal it away, and the Eagles get the ball back here once again. That's gonna be Salazar. Salazar to the top of the key. Guarded by Howard, down in the lane, and a traveling call on the Eagles. Horn toe ball, 38.4 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. 16 to six. Toads lead over the Eagles, open up West Sierra League play. Sanchez, top of the key, takes it across the timeline. Goes to the right side, hands it off to his teammate, number 24 on our roster, is Escamilla. And that ball's intercepted once again. Vasquez with the interception, and Vasquez will take the ball across the timeline. He pulls for a straightaway free, hits the back iron, rebounded by the Toads, and the Toads will go back to work here. Shot clock turned off, 13 seconds in counting to go in the first quarter. Howard goes to the left side, top of the key. Gonna try to drive in, knifes his way into the paint, it hits the back iron, and it will be Fireball High School Eagle ball with 3.1 seconds to go in the first quarter, 16 to six as this will be an inbound for the Eagles. Probably it might be the final possession of the first quarter. Dumps it off over to Vasquez, and that ball's gonna go out of play with one second to go, actually. As this will be great defensive play by the Toads, but it will still be fireball ball. Inbound for Laura. Chest pass over to cross the way over to Salazar, but it's not gonna be enough. That will be the final possession of the first quarter here in Kalinga as your Horn Toads lead 16 to six. Over the Fireball High School Eagles, we'll be right back. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network. On the Toad Streaming Network, my apologies. We begin the second quarter here in Kalinga as the Horn Toads lead 16 to six over the Fireball High School Eagles. As the offense in the beginning of the first quarter was great for the Horn Toads. But the Fireball High School Eagles having a little bit of press as, that, as they will have the opening possession to start off the second quarter. Glad to have you along as this will be an inbound for the Fireball High School Eagles going left to right on your screen in the second quarter. Dumps it off over to Laura, Laura to that left side. Gonna try to drive in, right by the free throw line. No good, mishandles it. Back over to the Vasquez. Salazar down on the lane, knifes it in. Knifes his way through and he goes in for two. 16 to eight. Pena, gonna try to drive in. 15 on the shot clock, triple team. Watson for free. Hits the side of the iron, rebounded by Pena, but Sanchez gets that, receives it and it will go out of bounds as Escamilla was not able to hold on to that. Fireball ball with 7.15 to go before halftime. 45 seconds gone by in the second quarter.
Here come the Fireball High School Eagles. That ball stolen away. Devin Sanchez with the steal. Takes the ball across the timeline. Top of the key. Chest pass over to Escamilla. Bounce pass over to Sanchez. Dumps it off over to Pena. Pena. Throws it over to cross the way to Escamilla. Chest pass. And that ball is intercepted by Fernandez. Fernandez to the hoop. Drives in. A quick deflection by the toes. I couldn't see it, but the ball went out, went everywhere. As this will be on Devin Sanchez, as this will be a chance for the Fireball High School Eagles to go to the free throw line. 6.49 to go in the second quarter. As Fernandez will do the free throw, two free throws in fact. As in our position, the first free throw. Did he make it? Yes, he did. 16 to nine, Horn Toads lead by a touchdown over at Fireball High School. As some substitutions come in, because actually, where we're seeing it, where we're sitting at, it's actually on the southeast side of the gym. Have you ever been to the Klinga High School gym before? It's kind of like right by the south entrance, in fact. Here's the second free throw from Fernandez. And he makes the second one. Originally on the Max Preps roster, Anthony Fernandez had 32, but he's wearing number one. Watson for three, hits the side of the iron, rebounded by the Eagles, but it's gonna go out of play as it will be horn toed ball. As Jaden Pena will do the honors. Pena with the inbound in front of your screen. Chest pass over to Howard, and it's deflected away as it almost goes into a broadcast position. And the Fireball High School Eagles go back to work, and as Felix, Dumps it away, and that ball's almost intercepted, but they're gonna try to lay it up, no good. Still trying to fight, trying to see. I can't really see what's going on over there. A lot of battling going on is a whistle, and a, you can hear that horn toad crowd. As it will be horn toads ball, 6.24 to go before halftime, 16 to 10, horn toads lead by six. Jaden Pena takes the ball across the timeline, bounce pass over to Howard to that left side. Howard. Goes for a deuce, hits the side at the front of the iron. Howard tries to get to the own rebound, he does. Chest pass over, actually bounce pass over to Watson. Watson, right wing free, no good. They're still playing volleyball in the paint and that'll be stolen away by the Eagles. Here comes Laura down the lane. Laura, and a great deflection by Jaden Pena, but it will be a foul on the Horn Toad. Or not actually, Alrighty. Inbound for the Fireball High School Eagles, that's Fernandez. Dumps it off over to Laura. Laura, top of the key. Pulls his four straight away free, hits the front of the iron, and rebounded by the toes. Escamilo with, the, with that rebound, gets it over to Pena. Pena down the lane, and a whistle and a foul. Let's see what the foul will be on, as it will be on Anthony Fernandez. I believe as Jaden Pena will go to the free throw line. Is he shooting one or two? He'll be shooting two. He makes the first one. Jaden Pena with the second free throw, 17 to 10. Horn Toads lead. They lead by a touchdown over Fireball. Second free throw, no good, hits the back iron. And the Fireball High School Eagles will go back to work here. Salazar across the timeline, dumps it off over to Fernandez. Bounce pass over to his teammate, number 23. His pocket's picked away, and Jaden Pena picked his pocket. Jaden Pena, bounce pass over to Howard. Howard, left elbow, no good. Pena with the putback, gets it in there for two. Jaden Pena, the sophomore, 5'11", 145-pound point guard with the rebound and the putback, 19 to 10. Fres uh, Horn Toads lead by nine. Fernandez to the left side. Back over to cross away, Salazar. Gonna try to drive it in, it goes in for two. 19 to 12. Horn Toads lead by fire, over Fireball. They lead by a touchdown, Pena to the left side, pulls the trigger for a left wing free, goes in, swish, swash. Jaden Pena's on fire tonight, folks. 22 to 12, Horn Toads lead by a decade. Salazar, top of the key. Dumps it off over to Lopez. Back over to Fernandez, top of the key. Going to try to drive in. Felix for free, no good. And the put back, it was actually a pass. And this will be 
It will be an inbound for the Horn Toads, in fact. 4.38 to go before halftime. Stay tuned for our halftime show. We'll get a chance to look at some of the scores from across the college basketball landscape. All that coming up on our halftime show from Kalinga. Pena throws it as Camille. A dump, uh, bounce, uh, chest pass over to Howard. Bounce pass over to Pena. Top of the key. Chest pass over to Howard for a free. Hits the front of the iron. Rebounded by the Eagles. And the Eagles will go back to work here. Salazar takes the ball across the timeline. Goes top of the key. Mishandles it. A fight for the ball. Let's see who it's going to be on. And the jump ball's position. Let's see. As there was a lot of contact. Let's see who it was on. It was. It actually will be fireball ball. 4.06 to go before halftime. 22 to 12. Horn Toads lead over the Eagles. Inbound for Fernandez and the Eagles as the Eagles will go back to work here. Chest pass over for the Eagles. Salazar straight away free. Hits the back of the iron. Gets the rebound. Felix with the rebound. No good. Hits the back of the iron. Re but they're still fighting for it. And the Horn Toads get the ball. And the Horn Toads will go back to work here. Free 44 in Cali to go. Before halftime, Pena to the right side. Pena. Bounce pass to Watson. Right wing free. It goes in. Swish, swash. Kevin Watson for a triple, 25 to 12. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Salazar takes the ball across the timeline. Bounce pass over to Fernandez. Throws it across the way over to Vasquez. And a traveling call on the Eagles. Horn Toad ball, 319 to go before halftime, 25 to 12. Horn Toads lead over the Eagles. Glad to have you along here in Kalinga. A fast first half, in fact, as the Toads lead 25 to 12. Kenya down the lane over to Howard. Miss Handles able to regain it. Top of the key for Howard. 3.05 to go before halftime. 14 footer hits the back of the iron. Rebounded by the Eagles. And here comes Salazar. Salazar on, a, on the fast break. Trying to drive it in. It goes in for two, 25 to 14. Horton Toads lead over the Eagles of Fireball High School. With under three minutes to go before halftime. Howard, 13 footer, hits the back of the iron to share with the rebound. Over to Tamayo, left wing free. Goes in and actually bounces off the glass, rebounded by the Eagles. And the Eagles will go back to work here. Vasquez, top of the key, throws over to cross the way over to Fernandez. A triple from number two, M Mendez. A little bit of a fight for the ball, and it will be Horn Toad ball. 2.26 to go before halftime. 25 to 14, Toads lead. As some substitutions come in for the Fireball High School Eagles, Laura and Lopez check back in for Fireball. Jaden Pena takes the ball across the timeline here. Over to Butters, almost in our broadcast position. Tamayo trying to. Tight rope the sideline, back over to Howard. Howard to that left side, back over to Tamayo. Tamayo, double team, deflected away. And a pushing foul, it'll be a, a foul on the Eagles in fact. 2.05 to go before halftime here in Kalinga. As that, ball's, that ball has been coming closer and closer to our broadcast position here on the corner of the gym. 25 to 14, Toads lead over Fireball. As the Horn Toads have the ball, and they have the inbound here. Two minutes to go before halftime. Pena, top of the key. To the right side, throws it over to Escamila. Escamila in the paint, no good, hits the front of the iron. And rebounded by Fireball, and Fireball will go back to work here. Salazar, a little bit of pressure by Pena, 10 and 10 battling each other. As Pena's like, he's the culprit of the foul, and Pena's like, really, me? I got the foul, but Fireball will go to the free throw line. 1.47 to go before halftime. Actually, Fireball will have an inbound. Laura to the left side. Chest pass over to cross away, over to Fernandez. Chest pass over to his teammate, Mendez. Hits the back of the iron. Rebounded by Lopez. Let's see what the call will be. The position the will be Fireball, the Eagles ball. Over to Salazar for the inbound, straight away free. Hits the back of the iron, still fighting for it. A wrestling match on the floor, and who has it? It's Fireball, Salazar to the left side. 
New shot clock for Fireball. One, and the clock is not, the clock just was stopped for a moment. 1.16 to go in the first half, and the Horned Toes get the ball back here. 25 to 14. Devin Sanchez takes the ball across the timeline. That's over to Tamayo. Tamayo trying to find somebody. Back over to Sanchez, top of the key. Sanchez, chest pass over to his teammate. That's going to be Escamila. Escamila, chest pass over to Sanchez. Back over to Escamila. Escamila trying to drive in, left wing free. It's the front of the iron. The Horn Toad fans are in disbelief about that call, but the Eagles will have the inbound, actually will have the free throw, I should say, 40.5 seconds to go in a very fast first half. Uh, Salazar will take the ball, had the ball for the free throw, in fact. Five second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's the first free throw from Salazar. And it goes in. And a timeout called by Coach Hercules. And we'll take a timeout with him. 40.5 seconds to go here. Before halftime, we'll be right back. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network. Forty point five seconds. West Sierra League play, in fact. Horn Toads with the ball going right to left on your screen. Over to Shara, back over to Sanchez. Dumps it off. Howard for a free. It goes in. Ryan Howard with a swish swash. The senior with the triple. 28 to 17, I should say. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Salazar walks across the timeline here. 17 seconds to go. Shot clock turned off. Salazar to the right side. Under 10 seconds, seven, six. Trying to find somebody. Back over to Laura, wild pass, a free from Fernandez, and that will be the last shot of the first half as your Horn Toads take a halftime lead against Fireball, 28 to 17 over Fireball High School. We'll be right back with our halftime show. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network.
Halftime here in Kalinga as your Horn Toads of Kalinga High School lead Fireball High School. 20 46 to go in the second half. Kansas leads Oklahoma 47 to 44. Tennessee is leading over Vanderbilt at the moment, 53 to 43. North Carolina leads over Virginia, 36 to 31. Auburn leading over Old Miss, 46 to 39. DePaul leading over Villanova, 41 to 38. Illinois leading over Nebraska, 46 to 31. In the Mountain West, Air Force has a one point lead over Colorado State in the second half and a, a game that's very interesting in the San Joaquin Valley, actually, a big game in the Silicon Valley, in fact, as the Spartans of San Jose State have taken on the Bulldogs of Fresno State. As the Spurs scores, Temple defeats Tulsa 76-72. Drake defeats UIC 76-71. Kansas State defeats Oklahoma State 65-57. Iowa State defeats Texas Tech 84-50. Michigan State defeats Wisconsin 69 to 65. The Red Storm of St. John defeat Butler 77-61. And one more game is actually a final in OT in fact. Something similar to the JV game here in Kalinga as Notre Dame pulls out with a one point win over Georgia Tech 73 to 72 in overtime. As your Horn Toads, the JV Toads had a went into overtime with the Fireball High School Eagles JV squad. But the Horn Toads fell in the JV match. One more game in the college basketball landscape tonight as Dayton defeats Fordham 82 to 58. That's your halftime show folks. We'll be right back with the second half. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network.
Two quarters in the books, two more to go here from Kalinga as your Horn Toads of Kalinga High School lead over the Fireball High School Eagles, 28 to 17. Welcome to the third, third quarter, I should say. I'm Brian Welch, glad to have you along. Alongside of our camera guy tonight, Jackson Elliott, as your Horn Toads had a very good, productive, a productive first court, first half, in fact, as they were able to find shots beyond the arc, which was really cool. As the Horn Toads try to finish it off, two more quarters to go, eight minutes on the sh game clock, 35 seconds on the shot clock. Glad to have you along on a cold Tuesday night in January, folks. The league opener for the Horn Toads. As the Horn Toads have the opening drive for the third quarter, Pena takes the ball to that right side. Going left to right on your screen, dumps it off over to cross the way to his teammate. Uh, for a free, no good, rebounded by Felix and the Eagles, and the Eagles will go back to work here for their opening possession of the second half. Felix to the left side, actually that's gonna be Salazar, my apologies, back over to cross the way, over to Lopez for a free, hits the back iron, rebounded by Jaden Pena, and the Horn Toads will go back to work here. Pena takes the ball across the timeline, back over to Howard, Howard top of the key, gonna try to drive his way in, and hits the back of the iron, and it will go off of it will go off of a horn toad. Eagles ball, 7-16 to go in the third quarter, 28 to 17. Glad to have you along as the horn toads trying to keep their lead intact. Salazar drives into the paint. No good rebound by Teixeira. And the horn toads will go back to work here. Pena, bounce pass over to Howard. Howard, back over to Tamayo for a free from Tamayo. Hits the glass and it's rebounded by the Eagles and the Eagles will go back to work here. Under seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Salazar back, uh, back over to Laura. Laura trying to find somebody, gets it over to Salazar. Miss Handel's able to regain it. Salazar to the right side. Gonna try to drive in, bounce pass over to Lopez. Goes in, does not go in, I should say. Rebounded by the Horn Toes, and the Horn Toes will go back to work here. 6.34 to go in the third quarter clock. Pena for a free. Hits the back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by the Eagles, and the Eagles will go back to work here. Salazar trying to drive in. No good, hits the back of the iron. Laura wrestle, actually, Felix and Pena wrestling in the paint for the ball. 6.18 to go in the third quarter as this will be an inbound for the Eagles. As Anthony Fernandez will do the inbound. The junior 5'7", 154 pound point guard will do the inbound. Trying to find somebody, dumps it off over to cross the way to Lopez. Lopez in the paint, no good. Rebounded by Jaden Pena. And the Horn Toes go back to work here. A little bit of pressure from Fernandez. And that ball stolen away. Fernandez with the, on the fast break, lays it up, goes in for two. 28 to 19. Hey, Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Pena. Back over to Howard. Howard in the paint, and did it go in? No, it did not. Actually, the Horn Toes still fighting for it. Howard, and a whistle. Let's see what the call will be on, and it will be on the Eagles. As Ryan Howard, the senior, 6'1", a guard will go to the free throw line, shooting two. Hits the front of the iron, no good. As the Horn Toads have a second free throw is actually, it will be Ashtabin, Ashtabin Vasquez in fact, the junior, and he makes the, the second free throw, 29 to 19. Horn Toads lead by a decade over Fireball High School. Salazar takes the ball across the timeline here. Going right to left on your screen. Top of the key, gonna try to drive in. And it goes in and out, rebounded by Teixeira. And Teixeira gets it over to Pena. A little bit of pressure applied by Fernandez. And Pena gonna go on the fast break. Top of the key. Gonna try to drive in, throws it to Mile. Back over to Howard. Howard gonna try to drive into the paint. Hits the glass, rebounded by the Eagles. And the Eagles gonna go on the fast break. Fernandez dumps it off over across the way to Felix. Trying to drive in, Vasquez. 
Back over to Salazar, dumps it off over to Fernandez, top of the key. Throws a bulleted pass over to Lopez. Lopez drives it in, goes in for two. 29 to 21. The closest this game's been this evening. Under five minutes to go in the third quarter. Howard, 15 footer, hits the glass. Still fighting for it in a jump ball situation. And let's see. It will be a inbound for the Eagles, in fact. Here they go. Jaden Pena with the inbound, going right to left on your screen. As Salazar goes to the bench for the Eagles. Gets it over across the way to his teammate, number 15, Antonio. And the Toads, here's a free from Watson, no good. Still fighting for it, and it will be fireball ball with 4.36 to go in the third quarter. 29 to 21. Horn Toads lead by eight, in fact. Top of the key for Laura. Trying to drive in, lays it up and gets it in there for two. Joey Laura, the junior 5'10", 160 pound point guard with the layup, 29 to 23. A six point advantage for your Toads. Howard, chest pass over to Pena, Pena. Bounce pass over to Howard. Howard gonna try to drive in. Into the paint, goes in for two. Ryan Howard having a great third quarter, 31 to 23. Horn Toads lead by eight, and a great deflection by Gavin Watson. As the Horn Toads trying to keep their lead intact, they will be an inbound for Fernandez, gets it over to Laura. Laura throws it over to a wide open Vasquez. Bounce pass over to Laura, Laura in the paint. Hits the back of the iron, rebounded by Lopez, and a jump ball, and let's see, it will it actually will not be a jump ball. It'll be a foul on the Horn Toads, in fact. And our vantage point couldn't see what was going on in the beginning, but it will be an inbound for the Eagles. Fernandez, bounce pass over to Lopez. Lopez in the paint, gonna try to drive in. It hit, goes off the glass and rolls in, 31 to 25. Talking with Jason McFarlane, the head coach of the Horn Toads, as that will go in and out. Rebounded by Fernandez. Talking about this is this game's always been a battle against the Eagles. And a great strip, and the Horn Toads are on the breakaway. Jaden Pena to the hoop. It goes in for two of a right hand layup. Jaden Pena, the sophomore, for a deuce 33 to 25. As the Toads lead by eight. It's always been a battle. One game that always that reminds me of that when Coach McFarland said that was in 2020, in fact. The Toads had a lead at halftime. But the Fireball High School Eagles has a traveling call on Fireball uh, on Lopez. Toads led at halftime, but Fireball came back in the second half, took the game to overtime, and the Fireball High School Eagles were able to get the, the win over your Horn Toads. That's what, I was a, a junior in at Kalinga High School, in fact. I was the PA announcer. Pena hits the back of the iron, rebounded by Howard. Tamayo back over to Howard. Howard throws over to Pena. Pena gonna try to drive in, throws it away into traffic, and that ball's gonna be stolen away by Pena now. Bounce pass over to Watson, mishandles it, and a whistle. And let's see what the call will be on. It will be fireball ball, 2.42 to go in the third quarter. As Salazar takes the ball across the timeline, hands it off over to cross the way to his teammate Lopez. Throws it over, bounce pass, and that ball's right in the hands of Dylan Teixeira. And the Horn Toes have another possession here, 2.25 to go in the third quarter. Howard for a deuce, got it there for two. Ryan Howard having a great third quarter for the Toads. 35 to 25, Toads lead by a decade. As Jaden Pena is called with the foul. 2.13 to go in the third quarter. 35 25, Horn Toads lead over Fireball to open up West Sierra League play. As this will be an inbound for the Eagles. Mendoza, Mendez, I should say. Mendez with the inbound. Dumps it off to Salazar. Salazar, top of the key. Double team, dumps it off over to Laura. Right wing free, goes in for a triple. 35 to 28, 
Kalinga leads by a touchdown. Jaden Penn trying to drive in and a whistle and it will be on Yabi Mendez, the junior 5'10", 150 pound guard with the foul for the Eagles. And it will be an inbound for the Toads. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Pena deflected away and it will be, let's see what the call will be on. It will be horn toe ball once again. Throws it across the way. Dumps it over to Tamayo. Tamayo has to fight for it. And it will be horn toed ball. 149 to go in the third quarter. 35-28. Toads lead over the Eagles of Fireball High School. As this has been a very good third quarter for the Toads. Jaden Pena. Top of the key. Going to try to drive in. Throws it across the way. Mishandles. And it will be fireballs. Fireball ball with 141 to go in the third quarter. 35-28, Toads lead over Fireball High School. Trying to drive in, Lopez goes in for a deuce and it goes in. And the Toads have a five point advantage now. Pena to the right side, gonna try to drive in. Top of the key, throws it over to Howard. Howard pulls for a triple. He goes in, Ryan Howard. The senior with the triple, 38 to 30. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Back over to Lopez. Chest pass over to Mendez. Mendez back over to Crowder. That ball stolen away. Jaden Pena with the steal. Pena in the paint. No good. And it's going to probably go away. But Tamayo's able to save it. A three from Tamayo. Hits goes in and away. Goes in and out. And it's rebounded by the Eagles. A minute to go here. 17 seconds, actually. As that ball will go out of play, 43.6 seconds to go. So actually this will be an eight second difference between game clock and shot clock. 43.6 seconds to go in the third quarter. Inbound for Fernandez and the Eagles. Lopez to the left side. Fernandez, top of the key, dumps it off over to Salazar. He pulls for a left wing three, hits the front iron. Rebounded by Sanchez, and the Horn Toads will go back to work here. Back over to Tessera. Top of the key, actually left side for Howard. Sanchez to the right side, shot clock turned off. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Howard goes for a bucket, no good. A little bit of fighting for the ball, rebounded by the Eagles. That's gonna be Lopez. And the Eagles will go back to work here. Seven seconds to go in the third quarter. Top of the key for a free. Hits the iron, fighting for the ball. And that will be the final possession of the third quarter. We have a good one here in Kalinga as your Horn Toads lead by eight, 38 to 30 over Fireball High School. We'll be right back. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network. Thirty-eight to thirty, Horn Toads lead over the Fireball High School Eagles as we start the final quarter from Kalinga. As the Horn as the Horn Toads go on defense here, Jackson Elliott, Brian Welch courtside for you. Glad to have you along on a Tuesday evening on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. And a great deflection by Dylan Teixeira, and that will be an inbound for the Fireball High School Eagles on their opening possession of the fourth quarter, the final quarter of play. Thirty-eight to thirty, Toads lead over Fireball. Inbound, Salazar for free, no good. A Little bit of air on that ball, and the Toads 
We'll have the ball back here. 7.41 to go in regulation. Jaden Pena takes the ball across the timeline for the Toads. First, their final possession of the night. Of the fourth, uh, final possession of the fourth, uh, of the fourth quarter, first possession, I should say. Pena, top of the key, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Back over to cross the way to Howard for a free. It goes in, a triple. Ryan Howard, the senior 6'1 guard, gets another triple, 41 to 30. Toads lead by 11 and a steal by the Toads. And the Toads will go back to work here. Pena takes the ball across the timeline here. 55 seconds gone by in the final quarter. A triple from Howard, it hits, goes in and out, rebounded by Salazar. And, and that ball's gonna go out of play and it will be Fireball's ball. It's actually where we're at here at the gym. It's, we have a little, of a, a, a little bit of an obstructive view so we can't see the sideline. It's actually as this will be an inbound for the Eagles. Under seven minutes to go in regulation, 41-30. Toads lead by 11 over Fireball on the opening night of WSL play. Bounce pass over to cross the way, Laura for free. It goes in for a triple, 41-33, to Toads lead. Pena takes the ball across the timeline here. 6.38 to go in regulation. Goes top of the key, bounce pass over to Sanchez. Back over to Pena, Pena top of the key. Chest pass over to Sanchez to the left side. Back over to Pena. Throws it across the globe over to Howard. Back over to Pena, top of the key. Back over to cross the way to Howard. Howard gonna that ball over to Escamila, I should say. Back over to Pena, top of the key. Gonna try to drive in, 13 footer. Hits the back iron. Rebounded by Fireball. 6-10 in County to go in regulation. 41-33, Toads lead over Fireball. Laura to the left side. Back over to cross the way to Fernandez. Trying to drive in here, frozen across the floor to Salazar. Salazar, frozen across the floor over to Laura once again. Back to Fernandez, top of the key, 13 on the shot clock. Trying to drive in, Mendoza. Gets it over to Laura, Laura floats it in, it goes in, rattles in for 2.35, uh, 41.35, Toads lead by six with 5.33 to go in regulation. Pena, top of the key. Goes for a straight away, oh, goes in for a long two. And a timeout called by Jason McFarland with 5.22 to go in regulation. We'll take a timeout with him, 43 to 35. Toads lead over the Eagles, we'll be right back. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toads Streaming Network. Five twenty-two to go in regulation as your Horn Toads lead, forty-three to thirty-five, over the Fireball High School Eagles. Jackson Elliott, Brian Loach, courtside for you for the Toads Streaming Network. Is this has been a very good game for the Toads? It's Toads trying to keep their lead intact here. Five twenty to go in regulation. Mendoza to the right side, going to try to drive in, back over to Laura. Dumps it off over to Lopez. Lopez back over to Fernandez. Dumps it off to Laura for a right wing three. Goes in and out, rebounded by Pena. And the Horn Toads going back to work here down that right sideline. Pena pulls for a right wing three. Hits the back of the iron. Rebounded by Mendoza. And the Eagles will go back to work here under five minutes to go in regulation. Down the lane of Salazar. Hits the iron. Rebounded by Dylan Teixeira. And the Horn Toads will go back to work here. 4.45 to go in regulation. Jaden Pena takes the ball across the timeline to that left side. Trying to chew some clock here. Chest pass to Tamayo for a free. It hits the side of the iron and still fighting for it. And a whistle and it's going to be off on an eagle. 4.30 to go in regulation. As Toads lead 43 to 35. 
Inbound for the Toads. On the far side of your television screen. Pena throws over to Watson for a left wing three. Hits the side of the iron, rebounded by Pena. Tamayo dumps it off over to Watson. He pulls the trigger for another three. It goes in! Kevin Watson for a free. And the Horn Toads lead 46 to 35. They lead by 11. And a timeout called by Jason McFarlane with 4.27 to go in regulation. Let's see what this will be. As a little bit of a question about timeout. As this will be a 30 second timeout. Well, they'll go, they will have, it will be an inbound. Inbound for the Eagles. 427 to go in regulation, 46-35. Horn Toads lead over Fireball. Laura with, receives the inbound. Top of the key, chest pass over to Crossaway to Fernandez. Back to the Mendoza in the paint, goes in, does not go in, hits the front iron, and rebounded by the Horn Toads. The Horn Toads going back to work here. Mendez, actually it's Howard with the ball, I should say, and it goes out of play. It will still be horn toe ball, 4.08 to go in regulation. To share with the inbound, dumps it off over to Pena. Pena, top of the key, 4.03 to go in regulation. Over to Teixeira, Teixeira, top of the key. Back over to Watson. Chest pass over to cross the way to Pena, Pena. Going to try to drive in. Pulls for a right wing three. Hits the back of the iron. Rebounded by the Eagles. And wait a minute. Let's see because the water the water jug, the Gatorade jug is there. But it will be horn toad ball. 347 to go in regulation. 46-35. Toads lead by 11. As Inez Felix will check back in for the Eagles. The fresh, the junior, I should say. 5'10", 175 pound power forward. Checks in. Inbound for the Toads. Dumps it off to Teixeira. Teixeira, bounce pass over to Pena. Goes up, hits the iron. Rebounded by the Eagles. That's going to be Lopez. And Lopez takes the ball across the timeline and a traveling call on the Eagles. 3.38 to go in regulation. 46-35 in this low-scoring affair in the West Sierra League. Inbound for Teixeira and the Toads. The Toads go back to work here. Top of the key. Howard drives into the lane. That ball stolen away by the Eagles. Here comes Fernandez. Fernandez to the right side. Back over across the way to Fernandez. Actually going to dump it off over to Salazar. And that ball is going to be short. Rebounded by Teixeira. And here come the Patriots. Uh, here come the Toads going back to work. A free from Tamayo. It goes in. Tamayo for free. And the Toads have a 49 to 35 advantage. As let's see what was going on here as Gavin Watson went flying. As this will be a timeout with 3.05 to go in regulation. 49 to 35, Toads lead over Fireball. We'll be right back. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Streaming Network. Here we go. 3.05 to go here in regulation. 49 to 35, Toads lead over the Fireball High School Eagles. Jackson Elliott, Brian Welch courtside for you for the Toad Streaming Network as this will be an inbound for the Eagles. It will be Fernandez with the inbound. Dumps it off, inbound across to Mendez. Over to cross, over across the way to Fernandez. That ball's tipped away and it's gonna be going in the hands of Pena. Pena going the other way. Backtracks, throws it over to Howard, top of the key. Dumps it off over to Pena. Under three minutes to go in regulation. Pena, top of the key. 
Back over to Shera, hands it off over to Howard, top of the key once again. Hands it off over to Pena, top of the key, gonna try to drive in. Hits the back iron and it will rebounded by Laura and the Eagles. Laura down the lane and it hit no good, rebounded by the Toads and the Toads will go back to work here. Tamayo dumps it off over to Pena. Toads trying to chew some clock here. 2.17 to go in regulation. 49-35, Toads lead over Fireball. A free from Tamayo, it goes in! Tamayo with a free. And Tamayo, Damian Tamayo, the freshman phenom with a triple, 52 to 35. Horn Toads lead as that'll be an inbound for the Eagles. Actually rebound, I should say. Mendez, that ball stolen away by Teixeira and a timeout call by Jason McFarland with 1.51 to go in regulation. This is a full timeout. We'll be right back. Horn Toads leading 52-35 over Fireball. You're watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toad Stream Network. One fifty-one to go here in regulation, 52-35. As your Horn Toads lead over Fireball High School, stay tuned for our post-game show as we'll be able to pick a play. We'll pick a player of the game and have a chance to have a chat with Jason McFarland. All that coming up on the post-game show after the conclusion of the game. So who do you think our player of the game will be? We shall see. Inbound for the Toads, Jaden Pena. Gets it over to Sanchez, back over to Teixeira, top of the key. Bounce pass over to, oh, actually chest pass over to Pena once again. Hands it off to Sanchez, top of the key. Trying to drive in, chest pass to Pena. To the left side, trying to drive in. Pulls for a left wing free, goes in, swish, swash. Jaden Pena for the triple, 55 to 35. Horn Toads lead by 20. Laura. In the paint, throws it across the way and he stepped, actually this will be a foul on Gavin Watson. As this will be an inbound for Fernandez, Anthony Fernandez, the junior 5'7 point guard. We'll do the inbound, throws it across the way and it's stolen away by Pena but it's gonna go in the hands and Devin Sanchez in fact. And the Toes get the ball back here, 108 to go, 68 seconds and counting. In regulation, Pena, top of the key, goes to the left side. Chest pass over to Sanchez. Minute, one minute to go in the fourth quarter. Sanchez to the right side. Chest pass over across the way over to Teixeira. Pena in the paint and a deflected play as Fernandez deflects the ball out of Pena's hand. As this will be an inbound for the Eagles. 47.1 seconds to go in regulation as Salazar knifes his way down and into the paint. No good, rebounded by Teixeira. A seven second difference, actually eight second difference between shot clock and game clock in regulation. Pena throws it over to Sanchez. Sanchez top of the key, just trying to chew the clock out. 25 seconds to go. By the Eagles and it's gonna be, actually it'll be going the other way, Salazar in the paint, drives it in, and a foul by Devin Sanchez. With 11.8 seconds to go here in regulation. Stay tuned for our post-game shows. I'll have a chance to talk with Jason McFarland and also pick a player of the game. All that coming up on the post-game show from Kalinga. As Salazar go to the free throw line at the south basket. Hits the front iron, no good. As a whole, a whole new five for the Toads. To Hazel Eisbro. Jonathan Gonzalez, 
Trevor Sen. Chris Pacheco, and also number 32, Emmanuel Mahubu. His older brother Matthew played for the Toads way back in the day. That's gonna be an inbound. Eisbro takes the ball across the timeline here. Eight seconds to go in regulation. Eisbro, top of the key, mishandles it. Able to regain it, dumps it off over to Sen. Sen to the left side, and that will be the ball game, folks. Azure Horn Toads defeat the Fireball High School Eagles to start out West Sierra League play, 55 to 35. Here in Kalinga post game show coming up. You're watching Horn Toad basketball on the Toad Streaming Network. Thanks, Jackson.
There's your headset. Okay. Yeah, of course. Hey, you know what? Hey, we're, we're big time here. All right, here you go. There's your microphone. Uh, a little bit down, a little bit down. Uh, yeah, we're good right there. Post-game show here in Kalinga as your Horned Toads defeat the Fireball High School Eagles to open up West Sierra League play, 55-35. to Here with the head coach, a happy head coach, Jason McFarlane. Coach, welcome to the post-game show. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I feel a little over overworked tonight. Uh, <laughs> we had a couple possessions down the stretch that we just didn't execute like we wanted to. We went a little too early. Um, had some good shots go in. We relied heavily on that three-point line tonight. Um, uh, you know, that's not always going to go down, so you got to be able to score in different ways. And tonight, the three went down, so hopefully we don't. Hopefully it's not fool's gold. Well, I, you, that was something that was really apparent. Ryan Howard from beyond the arc. That was something that was very impressive. You guys, and also with the rebounds in that early part, you guys were able to find some magic in that early going. Now the first game's out of the way, and then you just, I know you guys have the game on Friday. What do you expect from your opponent on Friday night? Um, you know, we were focusing on one at a time right now, so <laughs> fireball was the, the focus. Um, I, I guess we play DP on Friday. Is that, is that right? I yeah. think, I believe yeah. so. Um, you know, it'll be another dogfight. Every game we've got to come and play. Um, but we play hard, so I know we'll bring it. Um, we're always going to be fun to watch because we're going to play our, our, our butts off. <laughs> you know? And if they don't, they know, they know the consequences. So, yeah, they're going to get after it, so we're fine. I mean, yeah, it's good stuff. Well, and also talk about the crowd because the crowd oh. was good for a Tuesday night. Yeah. Hey, have, do you have anything to say to the Horn Toad, yeah. Horn Toad Nation? You know what, um, Toads, come out and watch these guys. You guys are great. When you're here, it just brings a little bit more energy. Um, it's unbelievable when we get it get rolling here in, in, the, in the Toad Gym, getting after it. Um, it's, for, it it's, it's, it's a fun for the fans as it is for the players, so come out and watch us, man. Come out and watch us. Well, that's good to hear. Jason McFarlane, everybody. Coach, thank you so much for hopping on the postgame show. We'll see you next time. Thanks for doing it, Brian. Thanks. You're, you're the man. Thank you so much, Coach. Jason McFarlane, everybody. And I'm Brian Welch saying goodbye. Have a good night. A lot of people to thank for these the broadcast tonight. Thanks, Coach. And the superintendent of the, uh, the Kalinga here on Unified School District, uh, Miss Lori Villanueva, principal of Kalinga High School, Sheila Diaz, athletic director of Kalinga High School. Actually, you hear her on the microphone. Emily McFarland right now in the PA. Also, Jackson Elliott behind the camera, the, one of our ROP multimedia students operating the camera tonight for you. Also, special thanks for Tom Lucero for allowing me to use the broadcast headset tonight. I'm Brian Welch repeating the final score, 55-35. to Toads defeat the Fireball High School Eagles to open up West Sierra League play. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching Horn Toad Basketball on the Toads Streaming Network.